gentlemen, hello and welcome along to another instalment of our series of tyre tests supported by Continental. Now, if you've not seen our main intro piece to this uh, tyre testing series, which explains basically what we are up to, what we're trying to achieve, what we're trying to find out, go check that one out. But essentially what we are trying to do is we've got a set of the latest uh, generation VF tyres from Continental. And basically what I'm trying to do is explore, find out, see for myself what this latest tyre technology is all about. So to do that, I'm going to carry out a few different jobs. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of haulage work, uh, we're going to do some grassland work, and we are going to do some tillage work. So that's the plan. As you can see today behind me, we have got a Bunning rear discharge muck spreader uh, to play with. So we are going to do some muck spreading today and see what these tyres are like. Uh, during that application. As ever, massive thank you to Clark and Pullman for sorting us out with this uh, Fent 828 tractor fitted with uh, Fent's Vario Grip Central Tire Inflation Technology, which is a key piece of technology to this uh, series of tire tests because it allows me to uh, play around with my pressures, raise them, lower them, see what works, see what impact the different pressures have on the various different jobs that we will be doing. Also, a massive thank you to uh, Clark and Pullman's sister company, Garstang Tire Services, for fitting these Continental tires to this tractor. So, massive thank you to those guys. Right, on with this little uh, this little test with the muck spreader. So, let's start with the conditions that we are faced with, because it's those conditions that we have to weigh up, and then we can kind of decide uh, based on loads what sort of tire pressures we want to go for today. We are muck spreading on some maize stubble land. Uh, there has been a little bit of rain about, but on the whole, it has been pretty darn dry around here. And then in terms of the transport element of this job, uh, i.e. getting from the farm to the field, from the field back to the farm, we are in a nice ring fenced area. We are just up and down farm tracks. So we've got a nice mix of track work and field work as well. So that's the challenges of this job. Now, in terms of priorities, what I want to try and achieve with this job, obviously, we want the tyres hard enough for the transport element because we've got a fair, fair weight behind us. Uh, looking at my screen, because this uh, spreader has way cells on, we are ranging from a 9-ton load to an 11-ton load, so we've got a nice bit of a... Uh, weight behind us so what i don't want i don't want the tires too soft so we're wallowing around especially at the rear of the tractor we don't want to feel unsafe uh, or anything like that so we do want the tires to be hard enough to be stable but then we've got to think about what we're doing in the field as well granted this field will be plowed up shortly so in terms of the soil protection or level of soil protection i'm kind of sort of not too fussed about the sort of the, the 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 shallow to medium sort of depth of the soil it's 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 kind of the deep soil profile that we want to protect because that ain't going to get touched uh by the plow so we want the tires soft enough so the, they are kind of spreading the weight about before it gets too deep in the soil but also as well for obviously for productivity i want a good amount of traction which will naturally come as we lower the tire pressures so in terms of my initial setup so once again uh, like all the tests we like to weigh the tractor particularly its front axle its rear axle so we know where we're at uh, and then if i consult my trusty continental app we uh, click on that pressure low calculator and then new calculation select tire and we've already got it saved which is the 710 70r42 we select that tire we apply put in the rear wheels load now so like i say it's about six ton across the back axle plus another sort of three and a half for the spreader according to the waist cell so we have you know according to the waist cells and the waist scales that we've used in the yard we've got a rear axle load of about nine and a half tons so split that in two so if we go 4960 is one of the options coming up we'll go 4960 so we'll apply that driving speed we ain't going to be going that fast, so we'll go, we'll go about 30 kilometres per hour as my top speed, and it's telling me I can inflate these tyres, well deflate these tyres in this case, down to 0 0.8 bar. So that's what we, well that's what it can achieve, 
but what we will do is we will now play around with a few tire pressures we ain't going to start with 0.8 bar because i want to see the differences uh in you know between some of these different tire pressures so we'll start uh conservatively at about uh 1.4 bar something like that or 1.2 which i think we've already got dialed in so if we go into the central tire inflation system so i'm not sure if you can see that on screen but across my two axles, both front and rear, we've got about 1.2 in there. So we'll kick off with that. We'll kick off with 1.2 and we'll see where we get to with that. So with that, I shall crack on now and try out a few different pressures and then I shall report back. gents so the results so far so i've done quite a few loads today already with uh, this muck spreader and the results uh, as ever throughout this series have been just it's just fascinating to watch particularly having the uh, the continental sensing tire technology within the tires themselves and being able to watch what's actually happening with the tires in real time on screen both in terms of pressure and temperature as well so in terms of tyre temperatures, after quite a few hours work, they're just, yeah, they're just 23 degrees C at the moment. Not to, uh, not a massive change in uh, tyre temperatures today. Not like if you go and watch our, uh, our haulage application video, our haulage job, where we were carting maize with the big forage wagon from Fent. Because we're not going as fast, we're not going as far either. This is a lot kinder to the tyres in terms of heat build-up. We have got a lot less heat build-up compared to that job. So as a result of the tyre temperature not going up that much today, neither has the pressures. The pressures have uh, barely changed today. So quite a stable sort of range of pressures and temperatures today with this job. So yes, going back to it, uh, we kicked off with 1.2 bar, which is about 17.4 PSI in these tyres. Um, stability is pretty good. Uh, it's one of those, I probably wouldn't want to go too much less, but we'll find out in a little bit. Stability is very good at that. Uh, we also tried them at 1.4 bar, and stability again increased uh, a little bit more, and you could actually feel it in the tractor. However, you could just see a little bit of surface disturbance with the pressures at 1.4 bar, which is 20 psi. You could just see that that little 